G'day gang, game audio Dan here, how you going? We're back in the World of Warcraft on the Undead Rogue. Alright, so now, we shall go. Uh, we've got some quests, we've got a quest there, quest there, quest there. I think what we'll do is we'll just start, we'll just start here and work our way around. Go around the clock. So, a thorn in our side, Scarlet Zealot. Slain, Scarlet Missionary Slain, ur Urgent Scarlet Memorandum. 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 Memo. Memorandum. Okay, this busted up tower over here, looks to be the place we want to be. Take it down. Come on, come on, sinister strike. So we need two more zealots. See right here. So I've bound that special action button there to go into stealth. For me, I've just popped it on shift Z. Because actually, I'll throw that off now. I don't need it there on number four. A lot easier this way. Come on. Come on, Perrine. You going down? Okay, so we need the missionary now. Where the missionaries at? They're inside or around the back? Around the back. Just, just hang on right there. Actually, I'll get you. Beautiful. All right. Now we'll go and take on some forsaken duties. Speak with Death Guard, Linnea, Death's Watch, Waystation, and Terrace for Glades. Stay away, you cursed dark hound. We should have we should have cleared that, but I think my friend Coco Burn, he weighs a little bit, so <laughs> he's got a little bit of weight. He's a big boy. I mean, we're just bones, right? And a bit of skin, but mostly bones now. Quickly. Magistrate Severin wants a report? Very well. The defenders of the Bulwark are holding the majority of the Scourge at bay, but some do slip through on occasion. We have seen sporadic Scourge activity east of this station, with a concentration around Balnir Farmstead. Victory for Sylvanas. Hello? Hello? It's so cold now. The plague of undeath crawls through my veins like an icy serpent. The mindless state will be upon me soon, but no doomed destiny will prevent me from serving our Dark Lady. 
When she, when the call arose, I sewed body bags for my fallen soldiers of Sylvanus's mighty army. Now my hands shake from the chill. If you would bring me five dusk bat pelts, I could sew myself a blanket. Help me, Game Olyodan, so that I continue to serve the cause. Embrace the shadow. The shadows. Dusk bat pelts. I think we can do that. I think we can do that if we can find some dusk bats. Aha, here we go. And we can skin them at the same time. Down there. Make ourselves some light armor and light armor kits. Light armor kit, light armor kit. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's right. An urgent message to all Scarlet officers and enlistees. The scourge agent known as Lillian Voss has escaped from her captivity at the Scarlet Palisade. She is to be considered highly dangerous and should be killed on sight. She has already slain 15 of our men. None were left wounded. Do not try to apprehend her. Doing so will likely result in death. She is an enemy to the Crusade and must be crushed immediately. The Crusader who returns her head to the Higher Priest will be rewarded with 1,000 gold. Refer any questions to your commanding officer. 1,000 gold, eh? I mean... we got 26 silver. Should we? Uh, <laughs> were that we could. I'm sure she'll dispatch us quick enough. We even thought about trying. Uh, so we got all these armor kits. Increase armor value on item worn on the chest by one. I haven't got all day. Legs. Feet. Hands. Okay. A little bit of extra armor. What is it? Do you have the five dusk bat pelts yet, Game Oliodan? I appreciate your efforts, Game Oliodan. May Sylvanas recognize your bravery one day. Oh, and you gave me better pants. <laughs> Dark lady, watch over you. Well, thank you for the pants. I am forsaken. You should return to Magistrate Severin with the information I gave you. He'll want it as soon as possible, so be swift. Beware the living. I haven't got all day. Well, we're passing through there anyway. And then it's on to Garen's haunt. They shall herd the Scarlet Crusade like cattle to their demise. It sounds like we'll have to keep our eyes out for this Voss character. 
I don't expect any Forsaken to receive a reward. If we capture her, I'm just worried she'll eventually turn against us. Take it to the top. This had better be good. It is troubling to hear of the scourge slipping past the bulwark. Even now they are ceaseless in their assaults. But we will not give in. The Lich King is dead. We will not be taken again. Trust no one. What's he doing? Looked like when he'd insert like a Rubik's Cube in there. Okay, he's doing something. He has got the crazy hair after all, so... Let's just leave that guy alone. Oh, there's a blood elf here. Give the blood elf a pat. A pat on the back. Alright, so we go north to Garen's Horn. Report to Apothecary Gerard at Garen's Horn in Terrasville Glades. Folks, if you're enjoying these starter series, I do actually have quite a few from the other races as well. We have Human, Night Elf, Orc, Pandaren, Worgen, and now Undead. Is that right? I feel like there's, there's another one. Or maybe there's not. But anyway, it's something which I'm sort of continuing to do as I can. Uh, we'll definitely be looking at gnomes, dwarves, and goblins, and all the rest of it. And probably even, like, demon hunters and death knights as, you know, while not exactly a race, well, I guess they are really, kind of. Yeah, they changed. Uh, but they have their own sort of stud areas. So, I'll probably having a look, have a look at that at some point in the future. Anyway. Holland, he's an amateur. You don't need a fancy two-story apothecarium to make plague. You need love. And maybe some good assistance. Let me show you how plague is really made. Beware the living. Hello. My envoy just delivered me a bushel of gloomweed. Gloomweed! I don't need gloomweed. I need doomweed! You can see the predicament that I'm in, Game Olio Dan. I'll make it worth your while to gather what I need. Bring back to me enough to weed and I'll give you a suitable reward. It is my understanding that they like to plague the flora near the mass gravesite, to the north of the Brill graveyard. Hurry and be mindful of the knolls in the area. Victory for Sylvanas. Hi, how are you? <laughs> he's, he's very chipper. Wacky for Jared isn't all that bad. He might lose his temper now and again, but he plays well. He pays well, and he even gives me a boost when I can't reach something in the car. Oh, that's nice. The mass graves within the forest to the west of us were made to accommodate this impressive number of deaths Tyrosful suffered when the plague first came. The bodies in these graves have so far been spared and undeath, but the Scourge now send rot hide gnolls to gather the corpses and use them to bolster their armies. This cannot be allowed. Your task is twofold. Slay the rot hides, the mass grave, and Garen's Hort, and gather from them the embalming icon that gives them life. Be seen. You. Be seeing ya. Oh, he's happy. In his change state. Give me a little mongrel. No, no skinning? Okay. They have furs. Add that eviscerate on at least three combo points. That didn't look like it did 27 damage, it was like one. I guess there's always the possibility that I missed. 
High, high chance of missing. Embalming eye call, three or six. I'm giving the old step step. So somewhere around here we should be seeing oh there it is, Doom Weed. all the eye core let's grab some of this and now we've got to take out grave robbers as well that would be you oh there's lots of doom weed here save those combo points up although we may lose some because we're not Active? Or will it just stay there the whole time? Ah, there we go. Doomweed everywhere. That said 25, not 36. I guess it's got to take into account whatever damage mitigation they have. Plus whether they dodged or, or blocked rather. I guess I can also crit. There is a chance of that. What is my crit chance? 11%. I wonder what rogues can get it up to. Where they get to a ridiculously high, like 45%, that type of thing. Oh, 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 oh. I, I was a little bit keen. <laughs> Just a little bit keen. Well, this should get them all down if we don't die. Oh, they're evading. What? They're a little bit buggy over there, aren't they? Wonder why they reset. Seven of eight, and you're the last one. I'm going to hit you with a full five combo. Not enough to take you out, though. Two mongrels to take out over here. Mongrels, here we go. Okay, that's it. Let's go back. Hand in. To our little gnomish pal. Green gnomish pal. <laughs> Crit. 
Crispin. Need assistance? Working. Oh, here we go. Grave robbers. Is your task complete? Have you destroyed those dog things and drained them of their icon? Expertly done, the Gimol, you're done. The Scourge are mistaken if they think they can use those corpses against us. And the fluid you gathered from Rothide slaves will be studied by my master. It may have secrets we can use against them. Magadai is a foul beast, even by null standards. He leads a band of renegade trolls through the land, tearing up the glades and stealing whatever corpses he can find along the way. Those are our corpses. We had plans for those. Magadai resides just up the path from us. Show him no mercy. Mercy is for the weak. Off and away. Got it. What now? The apothecary mutters to himself. They brought me gloomweed. Gloomweed! Ah, my doomweed. Excellent. Apothecary Jared rubs his hands together greedily. Those will come in quite handy. You've done me, ah, uh, the, the lady. A fine service today, game all you done. As promised, here is the reward that you deserve. Oh, there's no way I completed 100 quests. What? Level 9. While you were collecting samples for me, my experiments led me to realize that more reagents will be required for this new disease to spread properly. Poisoning some hapless victim is child's play. Plaguing an entire world proves to be a bit more complicated. I will need several scales from Murlocs in the vicinity. You will find the creatures amblingly, ambling brainlessly along the coast to the north. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, another quest. My, you're a tall one. It seems that Gerard has you hunting the Murlocs to the north. That's good. We can use their parts for our poisons. I get a little worried sometimes, though. The Vilefin spawning grounds are not far off Tirisville's northern coast, so you'll probably notice several tadpoles among the adults on the shore. If these impressionable young Murlocs were to seek revenge against us, that could ruin us. Go chase them, and show them that the Forsaken of the Horde are not to be trifled with. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Alright, so maggot, maggot eye paw, maggot eye paw, maggot eyes paw, is what we need. Aha, well, it's a good thing we can just stealth right in, right? Hopefully the maggot eye doesn't see us. <laughs> Do you hear the knoll, the suspicious knoll? <laughs> I guess everything's busted up around here, so the knolls in the front probably don't suspect the thing. They think, oh, just, there's Maggot Eye again. <laughs> there's Maggot Eye losing his temper and busting up stuff all over again. Ah, oh, just, hey, leave him be. Let him cool it off. Some vile fin, and there's the tadpoles we gotta scare. more over here man that, that one's all the way up there he's a bit of a bit of a rock climber Let's scare all these little tadpoles get out of here get out of here I ever come back? Run away! Well, they're they're running away, but I don't seem to be getting any credit for doing this. Oh, there we go. One one's been frightened.
Come on, run! Go away! Oh, what's he doing? Is that his way of frightening him? <laughs> By just straight up killing him? Because they <laughs> frightened Tadbot. Oh, what's it say? He's got a little debuff there. Tadwell has been frightened by an invader. After three applications, it will collapse in fear. Oh, okay, righto. So I've got to stay near it. Two and three. Aha, uh -huh, right. Yeah, because it was running in fear, but... And there was a heaps. There was a whole batch of them there. Seven or twelve, so I need... Uh, five more... Seem to all be down by the water there. What an absolute jerk we are. <laughs> Scaring these little things. Alright, we're good. Let's get back. Enough tadpole scaring. Can I help you? Yes. Excellent work. Now, if only I can convince Jared to let us move our operation into that shack. Did they run from you, Game Audio Dan? Good. This is better than killing them. If they live to tell the tale, then future generations of Murlocs will learn to fear us. You have a great day now. Thanks, mate. I will. Uh, level 8 boots, yes. And... Where's that other thing we just picked up? Level 9 belt. A rifle. Oh! What? Game all your Dan, were you able to obtain those scales from the Murlocs? The scales are perfect, Game all your Dan, exactly what I need for this concoction. Head for the mills. The Agaman mills to the west have been lost to the scourge. The Agaman family has been slain and the entire residence has been claimed by the scourge. This is probably the largest scourge outpost in Terrace Vile Game Olio Dan. If you think you're an off of a rogue, head here, head there and speak with Coleman Farthing. He's been doing his best to take the land back, and he'll need help. Just follow this road. It'll take you right to him. Remember, patience, discipline. Alright, let's go. Head for the mills. 